Okay, here we are. Good morning, afternoon, good evening, and good night, wherever you are. <laughs> this is the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync. It is July the 29th, 2019. Uh, it's very nice to see you all. It's, it's, it's August 5th. You're right. I'm reading the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm going to update that right That's now. That's my bad. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. Use my brain. Don't just read. I'm just like, we'll take you. Um, all right. Okay. So again, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync. It's August the 5th, 2019. It is Monday. Uh, some people are still asleep, clearly. Uh, but let's get on with it anyway. This is, uh, we've got a note taker already. Thank you, Jim. Um, and if you are on, if you're on this call, if you're here, please put your name on the attendees list. So we'd like to know who is here. Uh, I just put the crit pad in the chat again because Zoom doesn't keep that around when people join. Um, uh, and then what happens now? Okay, well, basically we make our way through the uh, the document as you can see it in the crit pad and talk about the initiatives and the uh, the design reviews and the blockers and questions. Um, at the end of the document, you will see the weekly update for async review. We will not go through this in the call, but please add your uh, weekly update to the bottom of this document, and then uh, people can review it in their own time asynchronously after the call or during the call. Whatever takes that back. Anyway, so here we go. Uh, let us start with initiatives and uh, upgrading the release process for Go IPFS. Uh, Stephen, is there any news here? Uh, so we now have a draft blog post. Please read it. Um, this will eventually be accompanied by uh, visuals. Uh, yeah. Testing process. Uh, actually, Jim. Yeah, Jim, you're here. Would you like to yeah. speak? To this? Okay. Um, but like, you've probably got some more things to say. Yeah, um, let's see. All last week, um, I worked on taking the existing IPFS benchmarks, which we have running every night, and um, making it so it could also run Go IPFS. Uh, and there was already um, three tests in there, um, but we want to, um, like right now, it builds the latest version of JS IPFS every night, but we want it to build the latest version of Go IPFS every night. So I basically got that working on my personal computer on my test rig. So we're going to, we're going to move those changes over to um, the, the nightly one that's running on the production testing environment. And so we should have at least something building every night, and then we can start adding to it. And I also worked on some uh, re reformatting the um, Grafana dashboards a little bit to present the information in a more useful way. So. Um, we're going to have some meetings this week. I don't think they're going to be on the community calendar, but um, and uh, we should be getting the infra test working gr group uh, started up and running soon, um, publicly. I hope. Cool. Uh, that is very good news. Does anyone have any quick questions about that? No. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, so what's up next? Next up is garbage collection and pinning. Um, that is sort of on hold. Um, we are just uh, getting the, zero, the JS IPFS 037 release out the door, so that needs to happen first before we can start merging the garbage collection uh, into master. But yeah, uh, the, that needs to happen. Then um, when it needs to be some work to switch to streaming API, um, I preemptively put the Volker was going to be working on bringing in the new JS IPFS repo with the async await stuff, uh, but I'm not entirely sure if he's going to be working on that anymore after further conversation. Um, so that would be a shame, but it would be awesome if, if, if he had time. Um, and then we need to uh, update the garbage collection um, code to actually run it maybe on a schedule if, if configured and maybe uh, run it when storage, the maximum storage, configured, configured maximum storage value is reached um, or the browser storage value is reached. So um, there's a couple of things more to do on that. Um, but like I said, it is kind of paused for the moment. Um, delegated routing. 
Uh, da -da -da. Yes, so those, those modules are ready and working. They will be released in JS Hyperfest 037. Um, and the next steps are, uh, for me, I will get round to at some point looking into the Go IPFS Gateway API commands PR to allow it to, um, so we'll, we should be able to configure the gate, uh, a gateway uh, to, to, to open the API um, commands that are needed for delegated routing. Uh, so it's just available out the box. Um, so that's that. Uh, any quick questions or should we move on? All right. Uh, Gossip Sub, uh, Basco. Hey guys, so uh, last week we got uh, uh, JSLP to be a release candidate with the uh, Gossip Sub implementation. So uh, now uh, me and Jacob are just uh, polishing last minute stuff in the release and testing everything. Uh, meanwhile, I would uh, just ask for uh, the review for the JSIPFS PR, which integrates Gossip Sub and also the new release candidate of JSLP2P, so that if everything uh, is okay from JSIPFS team, we basically can uh, get the final release live. And after that, maybe for the next release of JSIPFS, we can also include Gossip Sub. And that's it. Is there interop tests for that yes. available? Yeah. Yes, they are not merged as well because uh, the daemon and the uh, interop test PR are basically waiting for the uh, the final release to happen so that we merge. They are now with the uh, branch, but you can check it if you want in the uh, lipid p interop repo. Okay. Cool. Uh, cool, thank you, uh, Vashko. Um, do we have a Lidl here? We don't have a Lidl. Uh, so let's move on. Uh, we don't have a Jacob either. I think he's out this week. Uh, so let's move on uh, to IPMS and Aiden. Yeah, so not uh, nothing uh, groundbreaking this week. Um, there's some uh, Gola P2P PRs that are ongoing. Um, if you're interested in how the persistence protocol we're layering on top of PubSub is going to work, there's a PR you should check out and also talk to me because it's um, it's it's a little like it's really simple uh, if you're okay leaving it simple, but that leaves us open to some like potential issues going forward, um, which may be similar to ones we're running into in other protocols. Uh, hopefully, if we just sort of flag this stuff as experimental, will be free to iterate a little bit because no one will be leaving things living inside the protocol long-term. They'll just be using it as a transport. Um, but yeah, uh, reach out or check out the PR if you want to talk more about that. Very cool. Any, any questions for Aiden? Okay, uh, so moving on. Uh, yeah, last week we were talking about, so Adam was here last week, migration to multi hash keys in the data store. He has completed a, or very close to completion of a JS IBFS <laughs> migration tool. Um, as far as I'm aware, uh, not much has happened on this since last week. But the next steps are basically to create an issue or a proposal for migrating the data store to use multi hashes that we can um, use in both JS IBFS and Go IPFS. Um, and there are a couple of problems that that needs to have some sort of solution for. Yeah. Uh, can we make sure to bundle the key store migration at the same time? Sorry, say that again. Can we make sure to bundle the key store migration at the same time? Uh, yeah. There is a, okay, whatever, I can just add to the list. <laughs> key store migration also. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Um, Okay, uh, so package manager updates. I saw these tracks being laid as I was talking a second ago. I don't know if that was Dirk or someone else. Um, that was me. Someone? Yeah, or Steven. Uh, Dirk, can you give us update? Sorry, what was the update about? Uh, you, you work on uh, BitSwap. Uh, I figured that we should probably, like, because it's touches the core protocol, the core implementations, we should uh, talk about all this stuff here as well. Uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, uh, Dirk has been doing a lot of great work on documenting and understanding BitSwap and how it works, especially around how uh, Go BitSwap 
sessions, uh, and then working on improving the algorithms around sessions. Uh, the ad performance work has mostly been on pause uh, because Dirk has been working on this, um, but uh, Aching Brain will look into it um, uh, when he comes back. And I have to be with him within hours to talk about that. He's there on my screen. I like the, well, he's here on my screen, and you're here on my screen, so. <laughs> okay, weird. Um, cool, okay. Um, that sounds awesome. Um, uh, anything more to add on that, uh, Dirk, or do you mind? No? Okay. Uh, in which case, uh, let us move on. They are the initiatives. So they are the things that are, we feel are most important and are in the air at the moment and being worked on. So uh, that is cool. We have to run through them super fast. Uh, so next up is design review proposals. It doesn't look like anyone has anything to say here. We had two, um, two design proposals last week yeah, for which we had uh, Productive meetings, and I believe issues were being made for both of those. Um, so that's so that's good. Um, blockers and asks. Uh, I put something down here. I wrote a blog post. Uh, it's a bit of fun. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like IDFS fan fiction, uh, and it's kind of written like there's somebody in the future looking back at how IDFS has changed the world, uh, and uh, and dragging up from the archives the uh, deep dives videos uh, of the IPFS camp, which um, was deemed to be an important part in the historic history of uh, the, the, the um, distributed web. So um, I don't think anyone has written something like this before, but um, it's a bit of fun. Have a, have a look and a read and uh, yeah. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, it shouldn't take you too long. Uh, but anyway, so uh, any other blockers from people who have got who have been blocked in any way. Doesn't look like it. Just said he needs a review on the gossip sub stuff. So uh, I will endeavor to have a look at that maybe this week. Okay, uh, any questions from people? Any general questions about, about things, core implementation wise? Rashko. Uh, just one uh, quick uh, heads up for uh, uh, Leap HP bounties. Basically, Raul opened today uh, a repo for bounties for, that we will be working on essentially now for the Ethereum Berlin ZY that will happen by the end of the month. And if you have ideas of bounties that you would like for uh, Leap HP, uh, feel welcome to open issues there. I can put the repo here. And that's it. Okay. Um, all right. Any any other uh, questions or uh, other notes or things you want to get off your chest? <laughs> Anything at all? Uh, we are pretty much finished. Should we be bringing the IPNS work to a design review at some point? Or did that, already, did that actually happen last week? Or sorry, I don't remember what list. There were two last week. I don't remember if IPNS was one of them. Uh, no, the two last week were .eth, or in DNS link, uh, and IPFS colon slash slash fully qualified domain. Uh, but we don't have an IPNS design review because I don't know of any current specs for either IPFS or IPNS over DNS or IPNS over PubSub. What is the current state of the spec for IPNS over PubSub actually? Yeah, so I, all it really would need, there's, there's only one like spec modification, uh, which is reliant on this protocol, which we need to figure out, like, is it push, is it pull, is it for multiple topics, is it a single topic? Uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm happy to just go over that with you and, and Viso, but I would also appreciate more input if other people are interested in giving input. Um, yeah, at least for the last two design reviews, those are mostly like, yeah, we are stuck on these questions. Yeah, let's get people together so we can make a decision. 
in this case, it doesn't really, really get stuck. It's mostly just like working on the protocol. Eventually, when we make an actual PR to like merge the spec, right up all of the specs at the same time, um, uh, then uh, we could have an actual time between meeting to like finally check off the spec merge. That, that's the way I would like to do it. But yeah, I mean, if 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 people have concerns over, especially like. This thing with the golib P2P pub sub router and adding persistence there, which is like used for IPNS, but is also in theory a lib P2P thing, which is not specific to IPNS. Um, like there's some things there definitely to talk about. Uh, and then, but if it's if it's just like, okay, let's make sure we have this thing mostly fleshed out and talked about. So we want to move it over to JS, like everything makes sense, then we can do that later too. Whatever makes sense is fine by me. I think sometime, um, so uh, if I may make a recommendation, if you were to create a, um, a kind of workshop or just a um, place where people can meet at a particular time and say, we're going to discuss this, I'm going to present that there's two free proposals um, for what I want to do. And I'd like to kind of pick one and uh, iterate on it during the call. Um, I think sometimes that gets you a bit further than just putting a link to the spec and asking for people to do people's opinions. Um, and it also gives us a video that we can kind of store and replay and, uh, and other people can, can look at as well, even if they don't, can't make the actual meeting. Um, so, yeah. yeah. I mean, we can, we can even do that sooner rather than later because most of the other, um, the other two PRs are two or three are mostly about like implementation things and not, really protocol things. So the protocol thing, we could even have a, a design meeting this week and talk about. Yeah, I think if you want, if you want that to happen, then set it up and invite people yeah. and get people to come. Well, so we can just take right now uh, down a list of people who actually want to show up uh, and set it up. And I'd show up. Well, let's just write this down here. All right, if you're interested in this, put your name on the attendees list in the document. <laughs> Typing is happening. Cool, uh, all right. Any other business then? Okay, you can have some time of years back. And you can get on with your day. Or in my case, go home for the evening. Hooray. If folks okay. want to condense this meeting to half an hour in the future, we seem to be taking about like 20 minutes on average out of an hour long meeting. So if we do this for another week or two in a row, I figure it might make sense. Well, I think it's because we've moved uh, like all the design stuff to a separate, or separate meetings so that we can schedule specific time for them. Um, yeah, I, I'd be happy to dance again when someone objects. What if we like just reserve the bottom half of the block as like for whatever design thing shows up in the meeting? It's hard to give people time to like like review the issues. So, like I, the, the nice thing about having separate meetings for that is like you can go home, they can read the related issues, they can like think about it for a bit and then come to the meeting prepared. If we just sort of like jump into a design meeting, I don't know if it's really going to be prepared. Yeah, fair enough. As a presenter, you may also want uh, a little time to get your notes in order. I, I am also much better if I am prepared for meetings rather than just thinking off the top of my head. Um, so cool. All right. Uh, I am, I'm fine with uh, condensing this to half an hour. Like the, the old uh, JS core meeting was half an hour and we rattled for it for a long time as half an hour and it, it seemed to work. So. We can always bump it back up if it, if it becomes tricky. Um, but cool, all right. Well, if we're all done for today, then let's call this meeting a success. Uh, until next week, um, it was nice to see your faces again. Um, have a lovely week and we'll see you next week for more Go and JS IPFS core implementations, work, uh, design think and other things and initiatives and all of that. Cool, all right, bye.